Right, while this rod's out of the water, I'm going to tie up a stick mix. Um, to start with, you're going to need some funnel web. This is the Maver Micromesh funnel web. There's two different sizes. You've got the boiler width and the standard width. And the standard width is really for uh, using pellets and uh, boilies. But because we're using a stick mix, I'm going to use the narrower one today. And I've started off by putting some crushed boilies into a pot. Whatever boilies you're using on a given day. I'll put a few more in there now. All I do is I'll pop a few of those into the crusher. Give it a twist up. And then that will come out all crushed in various different shapes, bits and pieces for the fish to root around and find on the bottom. So we'll start off with that. And then on top of that, I add the standard pepper army. Now it'll probably work all year round, but I like it at this time of year because it gives off an awful lot of smell. So I'm going to pop a few bits of pepper army that I've chopped up into the crusher. Give them a twist up and that will mash all of that up nicely. Pop that into there. Now we're going to start adding some powders because the mix has got to bind together. To start off with, I've got some uh, tiger nut meal. Don't want lots, just a handful of that in the pot. Literally just a handful on top. And I'm going to put in some fine crushed hemp. Again, just a handful, I don't want too much because I want the boily to be the basis of the stick because that's what I'm actually using for bait. And then I've got a slightly more coarse hemp seed, crushed hemp seed, which I'm going to put in as well. Again, just a handful. Pop that in there. And then onto the top of that to help it all bind together, I'm just going to squirt some tiger nut liquid. Again, not too much. Just enough to help it all bind together. Like that. Then if you use your plunger, so you don't get your hands all gunky, to give it all a bit of a stir together. You can make these really as wet as you like, but I like to keep it quite dry because I want all bits going up and down in the water. Right. With your funnel web now. Again, the length that you make this is entirely up to you. I'm probably going to make this about an inch and a half to two inches. Maybe a bit longer. Now some people would make a, a stick mix that's the length of their rig and then thread their rig right through the middle of it. But I'm just going to simply hook this one on in a minute. And that should have lots of smell but not really very much food source, so it's going to attract the fish to my hook bait, hopefully, before it attracts the fish to the free offerings that are out on the bottom. Now, that's the finished stick. We'll hook that on and plop it out and see if we can get a bite. <laughs> 